Great Dan Mergliano calling both fighters up to scratch. Round number one. Rapid fire start for both women to the surprise of no one. White and blue for Andy Wynn, black for Cassie Rock. Cassie Robb definitely looks like she's more comfortable this time. I think last time she got jumped on right away, wasn't exactly sure what she was getting into. She's more sure this time. In and out immediately from Cassie Robb. Andy Wynn, continual movement. See the bobs and weaves, just misses with that right hand. Much more stationary stance for Cassie Robb. Right hand just misses from Andy Wynn. Right hand nearly getting through from Robb. 30 seconds gone, round number one. A lot of head movement going on by Wynn right now. Making it very difficult to for, for your opponent to target your head. The ring on the inside, Cassie Rock pulling herself right back out of range. Slight swelling under Wynn's left eye. Looking to step in with the right hand, couldn't find it. 55 seconds remaining round number one. Continual motion from Andy Wynn. Doing a good job of uh, this uh, Wynn right now with the footwork, confusing your opponent. Switching up to Southpaw right there. Going up on the jab is win. And she talked about that. She wanted to establish her jab. Hasn't really been doing it right now. This is the first time she's done a good job of really popping that jab out there. You see Cassie Rob all the way out or all the way in? Right now, all the way out. It's high and tight for Cassie Rob. Couldn't find the full entry. Looking for the entry again. Nearly caught with the win left hand. Misses with that right hand. Wynn doing a good job of backing her head away from everything, but she got to be careful. If Rob steps in with that too, it could be dangerous. See, Rob bleeding out of her right nostril. Again, in, right back out for Cassie Rob. That is the end of round one. Round number two. Immediate activity from Andy Wynn, but it's Rob coming to the inside. Plus sustained pressure on the inside for Cassie Rob. 10 9 across the board from the three judges. Official scorecard, real time scoring in round one in favor of Andy Wynn. Rob, Rob came inside, but she paid the price as he did that. She got hit a couple times. See that footwork of Andy Wynn. Switch over to the South Pole right now. And missing with the entry right hand. I wonder if Andy Wynn is saying to herself, don't throw kicks, don't throw kicks. <laughs> Well, she, she was definitely worried about that before the fight. She's one of the best female professional Muay Thai fighters in the country, and she lands with that right hand. Very difficult because Muay Thai, you're standing right in the front of the other person to say who's strong, who's going to kick harder or hit harder or whatnot. Totally different style right here. You cannot just trade. You have to be slick here. You have to be smart. Cassie Robb showing excellent composure. Smartly, patiently is Robb looking for her entries. Rob needs to really push off and get inside right now. Come behind that jab, try to get inside and work just like that. I'm trying to land that right hand to the body. Can you see the shuffle step, the footwork? It's almost a switch step, and again, the switch step from Andy Wayne. That just shows that high level of skill she has right there. She's going to focus on her skill and showcase what she has to do a good job in her right Getting late in round number two. 25 seconds remaining in this second round. And it's high and tight for Cassie Rod. Rod again running for the entry. Sometimes when you do that switch step, it just makes your opponent look away, look at your feet, what's going on, what's coming, what angle, just kind of throws them off. And then you have an opportunity when that happens. That is the end of the second round. To round number three we go. Rob coming forward off the scratch line to start the third round. Switching stances when missing with the right hand. 2018, Andy Wynn through two rounds. Wynn chasing up going South Paul right now. Back to Orthodox. Left hook not getting through for Rob. Overhand right, just missing the mark from Wynn. Now off the jab, straight right hand, counter right hand from Wynn. Jab and almost a check hook with that lead left hand for Andy Wynn. 40 seconds gone, round three. I feel like 
Rob's able to do a good job at the beginning of the round, come up for him, but then she kind of fades and just kind of backs up a little bit and waits for her opponent to dictate the pace. She needs to continue to press forward. There it is. He's picking her time. So the continual movement, we talked about the switch steps, the slide steps of Andy Wynn, but it's that TikTok almost custom motto, the way he taught boxers like Floyd Patterson, Mike Tyson. Continual movement with the head, with the shoulders, with the torso. It's a great tactic, Sean, it's very tiring. That's why it's hard for a lot of people to continue to do that stuff. And be in fantastic shape to do that for five rounds. Freda Cassie Rob staying outside. She's down and that's official. 2-0, 2018, but she has not really taken big shots to this point from Andy Wynn. What she's struggling with, though, is landing with sustained pressure on the inside. That's where she wants to be. She has to get inside. When she's outside, she's kind of at a disadvantage right now. I feel like she's better when she's coming forward, trying to get inside, taking away that footwork advantage that Andy Wynn has. Win resetting again, you see almost a switch step. It's almost how you would move your feet to throw a switch kick. Running forward, missing with the right hand is Cassie Robb. Playfulness now from Andy Wynn. Hands behind her back. And fighters up to stretch, three feet apart. Dan Morgliana starts round number four. And indeed, to your point, Chris, if Cassie Robb has a plan B, now is the time to go to that plan B. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of times you go out there, you have a game plan. I always say it's good to have one, two, or three game plans. And the last one is be just go all out, go wild. That's definitely, that's not a good game plan. Starting off, that's a good last resort. And Cassie Robb needs to have that right. Double jab from Andy Wynn. Wynn is just not a stationary target. A lot of movement right there. Because she switched her stance right there and, and finished with the right hand. Rob almost looking away to throw that right hand. Trying to avoid the right hand of win. Fighters so often talk about dictating the tempo, the rhythm of a fight. That's exactly what Andy Wynn is doing to this point. So that could be one of the most important factors in getting the win in one of these fights. Who's dictating the pace? Who's fighting when they want to fight? Right now it's not well. 55 seconds remaining, round number four. Which step the shuffle step again from Andy Wynn. Rob just kind of throwing a couple punches when she gets in there. I'd like to see her try and get on the inside, try and push her point back against the ropes, get the inside top side, do something different, because this clearly hasn't been working for me. And left hand getting through from Wynn. Rob continuing to come forward. Still about the head movement coming through for Andy Wynn. Very tiring, a lot of work being done right there. Just a modified Superman punch from Cassie Rock. Andy Wynn did not bite on that at all. So Rock pulling back the right hand. Closing seconds, round number four. Right hand lands from Wynn. We move to the fifth final round. Fifth and final round of this women's 115 pound bout. Andy Wynn versus Cassie Rob. This is plan B now from Cassie Rob. We thought we might see it in round four. We're seeing it early stages of round five coming forward with pressure, but right back to the outside goes Cassie Rob, where she has struggled to be effective. She does a great job at the beginning of the round. I think she gets hit a couple of times. She's like, okay, plan, plan A is not working again, or plan B is this. Go back to where I'm comfortable and I'm not getting hurt. This is plan A expertly executed to this point for Andy Wynn. Elusive, great defense, outstanding movement, and continuing to land with accuracy. I see no reason for Andy Wynn to do anything different. Continue to do this, win a fight. She wants to step it up and try and get the knockout. Gonna be very difficult to do. But... Switch back to Ortho from Southpaw after that long jab for Rob. Win the polar opposite of a stationary target in this fight. This is just superior movement. She even stays in the pocket exactly the way she wants. Not only in the pocket, but stays exactly where she wants. Moves her footwork to continue to even up her hips with her opponent. 
Chris, when you and I were kids watching boxing, commentators would always talk about ring, ring generalship. It's kind of a dying term, but this is ring generalship. 100 out of 100 for Andy Wynn. Uh, in, in ring generalship, in my opinion, one of the most important factors you have who's doing the most damage, but in a fight where nobody's doing as much damage, it's all about ring generalship. If you have somebody who's knocking people down, that's a pretty easy one to call. In any other fight, this person's dictating, they're leading the dance, and when you're leading the dance, you're winning the fight. Cassie Robb has been game. She's tried to execute, but Andy Wynn has been on point with her technique. The bell, the end of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. All three judges see this fight 50-45 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Andy the Crasian wins!